Alright, Saturday morning. Time for vape jam. We're gonna be having a little bit of breakfast. We've got some bacon on the go in there. Lovely, lovely. Jumping on the train and then heading up to London and seeing what's what. So Lucy's in preparation. You're an asshole! <laughs> Oh, my clips come undone. Yes, that is a plastic bag on her head. Cooks the dye quicker. That's how you uh, dye your hair, apparently. Put plastic bags on it. Yeah, it cooks the dye. You want it, you want it to cook into your head. That's, that's how it's done. Cook it into your head, people. What? Yeah, man. The King's Cross. I have no idea what all the connections are. This is what I've got Lucy for. Where's she gone? There she is. That's what I've got Lucy for to figure out all these things for me, so it's fine. Don't need to worry. Yes. Same as last year, where they're literally throwing juice at you. We come away like 600 pounds worth of juice. Um, it's perfect lighting. It's perfect lighting. Struggling all night. 3200 ISO. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, that's what we reckon. Yeah. Decent for deals, and it's great to come and try new stuff. Not as much free shit as last year, but we'll live with that. See you later. Hey, 
even now. So yeah, that was good fun. One thing I am disappointed about. Well, there's a lot of things actually. There was like no freebies like there was last year, which you know you can't. <clears throat> it's like getting a bonus at work. You can't take it for granted. You can't assume it's going to be there and start planning your life off the back of it because it might not be. But it was good. It was good to go to. It was lovely to see all the all the different vendors and stuff like that. Um, didn't catch sight of Green Green. I guess he turned up a bit later in the day. But I, I bought this. This is a Council of Vapor uh, Kindred 2 mod. And I'm a little bit disappointed with it because <clears throat> in here, in the switch, which is fantastic by the way, I've got it on a hair trigger at the moment, because the screw that's in here, stop looking at the screen, you bell end. The screw that's, the screw that's in here is stuck. It, it, I can't twist it down as far as I want it to, which means I get these gaps here and here, and a bit of a gap here. This whole stainless bit should be seamless, but it's not, because I can't turn that screw in, which is a major pain in the bum. But you know, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get in touch with Council of Vapor and email them and see about what do I do about it, can I send it off, can you send me a new one, do I send it back? I'm not going back to the show tomorrow because I just can't be bothered. It was an effort. There was, but there was a queue for people who didn't actually book their tickets online. Apparently, it was two hours. It was a huge queue. As we came out, we knew we weren't coming, going back tomorrow, and it's a two-day pass. We just gave a, a couple of tickets. We we're very grateful for that, which was nice. So that's that. That's what happened today. I've got some bits and pieces for Lisa to give to Ben. Got some, got some juices. Got some juices. What, what did we get? Got that, got that, got that, got that, got that, got that, got these. Oh, didn't get that. Right, so, we've got this, the competition juice. Lucy got me some of this from Birmingham um, last year. It's amazing juice. It's got a really good flavour, something 95% new VG. It just tastes so good. My favourite juice in the entire world, Rainbow Sherbet in the Dark. Got some Yig, a couple of Thor juices. They were giving these away. How much was this? There was eight bottles for a tenner. Eight bottles of juice for a tenner. It's 80 mils for a tenner. That's redonkulous. 80 millilitres of juice. Normally you buy a 15 mil bottle to cost you about eight or nine quid and you cost a 30 mil, you buy a 30 mil bottle cost you about 16, 17 quid. 80 mils for a tenner. So I've nicked two of those off of her. This is another one Lucy got, rainbow milk. It's like um, really sweet cereal. It's nice, it's lovely. Uh, Lucy got tons and tons of juices. I've got a free t-shirt out of it, which is over there somewhere. Yeah, so it was a good day. It was worth doing. I hope you enjoyed the vlog as well. Found some fantastic lighting right at the end. You see the guy that just kept interrupting me when I'm trying to talk with my fantastic lighting. Cheers, mate. But I know what he was on about. It's good lighting was hard to find in that place. So that's today. Done and Ooh, beer review. Today is not done and dusted. What we've got is Timothy Taylor's Landlord. I have no idea if this is going to be any good or not. It was all they had in the shop over the road that I haven't done yet. Let's give it a whirl. That's not too dark. I thought it was going to be a lot darker than that. I thought it was going to be a nasty, really, really dark with bits floating in it and all sorts, but we'll, you know. That's a pleasant surprise. In this new era of me being as honest as is humanly possible about reviews and stuff, that's all right. That's not bad at all. I'll drink that again. That's really tasty, fruity. Yeah, that is really nice. I wasn't expecting that at all. It was the nastiest looking, cheapest, crappy beer that I hadn't tried yet left in the shop. An actual recommend, for real. You know, not, I haven't been lying in all the previous ones, but for real, in all truth and honesty, B. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We'll try that again. So there we are. That was fantastic. Uh, really good day. Um, tomorrow, starting off, we've got Cameron. Later on, hopefully, we're going out for a meal. I've got to text B. I've got to text B. We're going out for a meal later on. So thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.